Here's Papa. Hello, 45 Velvet Charlie Papa Channel, and today we're going to take a look at my budget pistol caliber carbines. I've got five here, so it's going to be my top five uh, from lowest to, to highest. Pistol caliber carbine is kind of a hot market. Um, a lot of people like it, especially in urban settings like I am, um, where you can have the same ammo that you run through a carbine as you can through a pistol and some of these are interchangeable magazine wise so that's another plus um, you can shoot them very economically um, you can shoot a lot uh, you know a nine millimeter you, know, you can run a lot of ammunition through a little pistol caliber carbine when i first started the channel pistol caliber carbines were a hot um, item but they were scarce i mean you had either your um, high points or you were into seven eight nine hundred thousand uh, dollar Rifles you had like your Beretta Storm. I know Taurus had one there briefly. I only ever saw one It was still in that six hundred fifty seven hundred dollar range um, You didn't really have much selection in the budget category uh, But that has changed and as uh, you know manufacturers have come online with new ones as like the kel has, has caught up with demand uh, they are a lot easier to find and they are still a, a hot commodity a lot of people are using them in competition so let's start my number five and it's kind of a dishonorable mention because that is my kel sub 2000 now I know kel fanboys you're gonna say what do you mean number five well this one's in 40 Smith and Wesson and these are my experiences with this carving I wanted this I sought after this pistol caliber carbine for three years until I finally found one um, in fact they changed even changed generations in that time I was looking for one affordable and when I bought the 40 Smith & Wesson one one it was the first one I came across two I figured I wanted the 40 Smith & Wesson because it's got a little bit more punch uh, it functions fine it shoots fine the trigger is garbage um, it's got a very bad catch in the trigger um, after about 600 rounds the castle nut has come loose um, So I've been fairly disappointed and the major thing that I'm disappointed with this particular carbine is It consistently throws lead downrange. I just don't know where that leads going um, I've had groups in this anywhere at 25 yards from softball size to beach ball size and it's just inconsistent. Uh, I could just never been able to find a ammo that it likes consistently, um, that it will shoot consistently. And that's been my biggest problem with the Keltec. I want to love this gun. Me and this gun have a love hate relationship. I want to love this gun, uh, but it wants me to hate it. But at number five is the Keltec Sub 2000. Now, you know, it folds up. It's it's got a lot of stuff going for it now and if you're gonna buy one of these I would suggest stay away from the 40 get it in the 9 millimeter the uh, 40 is basically a 9 millimeter rifle that has been bored out to a 40 and it pushes the design limits of this gun to its max at number four we've got the high point carbine now you've seen this on the channel before this one is no longer a budget carbine it is got a lot of accessories on it he's got over four hundred dollars worth of accessories on this this gun as it's configured um, if you were to go out and buy all the pieces you're looking at probably right around 700 but that's the beauty you can get into the rifle for 230 bucks that is your standard configuration right there um, it's got a nice little peep sight adjustable uh, plastic rails plastic weaver type rails um, and it is a great little carbine right out of the box now this one this just goes to show that these are a quality enough weapon that there are quite a few aftermarket um, manufacturers out there manufacturing parts for these um, you've got aluminum picatinny rails available this has got aluminum top and bottom you've got shrouds available you've got muzzle uh, brakes or compensators or whatever you want to call them uh, available um, you've got different charging handles available there's a, quite a few different options so that you can customize these the way you like it but 
accuracy this gun is accurate it's been reliable now a lot of people complain about magazine capacity and in the high points the high point magazine is 10 rounds so that's kind of a ding there you can get the red ball 20 round magazines in the 9 millimeter and the 45 and those are a good magazine uh, they are actually uh, do not void the warranty in a high point firearm uh, but the like the 9 millimeter if you've seen on the channel it sticks out quite a bit so you know it, it's a little awkward that that big long magazine but there are quality 20 round magazines available for these but that is the high point carbine at number four at number three we have got the Rossi model 92 this one is in 38 special and 357 magnum it is a wonderful little cowboy gun a little bit more old school more steel and wood um, but it is a great little rifle there are some complaints it does have the safety at the top of here a lot of people do not like the safety I just don't use it so I just kind of ignore that it's even there um, it does have the the Taurus lock on the hammer here uh, where you got a little key that you can turn it to lock lock the hammer um, but other than that it is a fine little rifle um, but you've also got a little cant I don't know if you can see that to the front sight but uh, it is it is adjustable for windage uh, and I haven't had any issues uh, with accuracy with this rifle it shoots really nice um, I am very happy with it it's a fun rifle yeah in 10 rounds 357 nothing to sneeze at it's been nothing but reliable um, you don't have to worry about cycling because you're cycling it yourself um, it is a great little carbine uh, fun to shoot uh, pick this one up for under five hundred dollars now the 38 special 357 rossi's uh, the price on these are going up i don't think they've imported them in a couple of years now but uh, if you can find one at a budget price these are a fun and quality little gun at number two we've got another high point this is another high point carbine however it has been put into the high tower armory bullpup stock and it elevates the high point carbine from number four on my list to number two on my list this is a great little package for a pistol caliber carbine um, it replaces the plastic weaver type rails on the the original high point to an aluminum picatinny you've got one here one down below here um, you've got m lock rail slides and actual m lock rail slides they are even notated m lock uh, along here here uh, and on the other side now a lot of people the biggest complaint on this configuration is the price of the stock the rifle itself is right around 250 dollars and out of the box it's a great rifle uh, when you add the car the bullpup stock to it it is a vast improvement however it's a 250 dollars stock and a lot of people 250 dollars no way no thanks i'm not gonna it is worth it in my opinion um, it takes the weight of the high point and pushes it back towards your body it doesn't make it any lighter um, but you've got all that weight over here instead of hanging out here um, it's a lot easier a lot more maneuverable than the standard high point um, one of the reasons this is so expensive one it's a small company they spent a lot of money developing this bullpup stock and they did a very good job it's ambidextrous it does have the shield here so it can be used um, it can be used left-handed uh, you've got your it replaces your charging handle from over here to up here um, you can be swapped to both sides this one's set up lefty uh, but you can easily uh, charge your charge your weapon with with this charging handle it also moves all your controls up here your magazine release is here you've got a safety here your trigger uh, all this stuff is right there with your trigger finger it doesn't necessarily improve the trigger on the high point and that's one of the downfalls of the high point but it does make it a little bit more adjustable so you can tune it just a little bit uh, it does not come with an optic you need to add an optic with this this rifle and the configuration it's in right now is right around six hundred dollars you're figuring 250 for the rifle 
another or two, another 250 for the stock another hundred dollars for the red dot that we've got on here but you can do it nice thing is you can do this in little increments you buy the rifle enjoy it later on down the road add the stock you know maybe buy a red dot at some point um, this one's also got the little shroud here from JS Arms Company um, nice little shroud here gives a little bit more beefy profile High point or High Tower was really thinking about this when they made this. If you notice here, it will take the 20 round High Point mags and they do kind of stick out kind of funky. But if you notice here, there's an insert at the bottom of this. When they designed this, they had in mind that they were going to develop a double stack magazine for these. Um, would be awesome if when they come out with them, they have not come out with them yet. I think what happened. Uh, these have been very popular. They have you if you want one You've got to get on a waiting list to get one of these stocks They have been selling these faster than they can make them one of the uh, Things that they did think of you know with the double stack magazine uh, If they sold so many of these units, they were going to develop the double stack magazine now high point is currently developing a double stack magazine from my understanding for their Y YC9, their new Yeet cannon, and um, I think they're maybe holding off on the double stack magazines until High Point comes out with theirs to see how that works, see if maybe they can make it work with this stock. But in the future, it is looking like there will be a double stack magazine for these. So, you know, in the meantime, you've got 20 round red ball magazines, they're a little funky to look at, but uh, you can hopefully in the future there will be a double stack magazine to this but that is the high point carbine in the bullpup configuration and the high tower armory stock and at number one you've got the Ruger PC9 this has been a wonderful wonderful little pistol caliber carbine it's in more of a traditional um, configuration so it's not a scary black rifle um, you've got Ability to put Glock mags in here, or you can use the Ruger mags. I do have a extended Ruger mag that I use with this. I do find that Ruger mags for this particular gun shoot better than the uh, Glock mags. The Glock mags feed. I don't know why, but my accuracy seems to change when I use Glock mags as opposed to the Ruger mags. It is a takedown model, so it, it comes in two pieces. Can be you know put in a really nice compact case of carry for truck gun goes together goes together pretty simple um, it's got a really nice sight set up on here ghost ring up front uh, in kind of a scout position a little bit forward and a nice little solid post up front um, I've got a little Sig Sauer red dot on here I've got it slammed down on there it works really well this is a very accurate rifle um, it's a heavy barrel. It's fluted. You can put a lot of rounds through this rifle and keep on target It does not really drift much It's got a threaded barrel on it so that you want to run suppressed or a compensator on here You can um, it is a little weighty, but uh, a Really quality rifle for the price. Um, they hit this one out of the park in my opinion um, look wise it's kind of got that uh, angular uh, looks that Ruger has been has been uh, designing over the last couple of years, but um, overall, this is a great little pistol caliber carbine. It's been reliable for me. It's been accurate for me. What more can I ask? Um, it stows away really nice. It's compact. It can be really compact when you want it to be. Uh, just overall, uh, it has been a good rifle. The trigger on it is relative is pretty good on it i've i don't have any complaints on the trigger aftermarket you're starting to get some aftermarket suppliers out there making stuff for it uh, there are you know aluminum triggers that you can get for it you know unlike the the sub 2000 this plastic trigger is, is solid um the sub 2000 that trigger flexes while you're pulling it which is kind of irritating um, you've got different uh, charging knobs you can get for it um, there are some magazine wells out there for it. There's extended magazine releases for it um, They've got a if you want to put your red dot up on the barrel in the scout position uh, There is a company out there making a little Picatinny rail that that replaces this rear sight So you can put a red dot up front there um, 
but overall very well thought out um, of the bunch this is my favorite of all the the carvings that i've got here well this is 45 alpha charlie papa channel i hope you enjoyed this little list uh, just something fun for the channel this week and uh, we'll see you on the flip side have a great day Thanks for watching, please subscribe!